Hi there, I'm Leighton, third generation pig producer here in South Australia. On our pig farm, we've got 1,000 to 1,100 pigs at any one time. They range from the sows, the mums, to these ones here, which are nine weeks old, and they go up to the, about 22 weeks old. We sell them based on, their, based on their weight, which is 100 kilos is what we're looking for. They're quite fun to work with, really. Here, I'm gonna show you the process of, of how we go about doing things. From the mating shed, where we get the sow pregnant, and then the pregnancy, when she farrows in the farrowing shed, and then to these guys in here. On the straw, plenty of feed, plenty of water, where they can grow, get as big and heavy as they can, so we can get them onto a truck. I'd love for you to come with me today, and have a squiz at what we do here on this farm. Here we are in the mating shed. It is at this stage of the production cycle where we test and then mate the sows depending on not, whether or not if they're on heat. There are different, different ways to detect whether they're on heat. What we have over there is, is the teasing bores which we then run the sow in front of that bore and if she then stands very solid and still, it is at that stage that she's, she's testing that she'd be on heat. There are also other, other ways of telling. One is the vulva, a lot puffier than what it usually is now. There's that, plus then you can then press on, on the rear of her, and if she's standing solid, then she's ready to be mated. You can either mate with the bores, but in this situation here, we use AI, which this here is an AI catheter, which is used and inserted up into the reproductive tract, and then we've got the the tube of semen here, which then we attach onto the end. And whilst it's in there, the sow has clamped onto it at the end. And then it will take all the volume of this tube inside of her, which then we know it, the process of, has occurred. And then we'll mark her. And then tomorrow we'll come back and test her again. And then in three weeks time, we'll get a contractor in to test whether or not she is pregnant using an ultrasound machine. Here we are in the pregnancy shed. We specifically designed this shed and have built this shed for this purpose of, of housing different size sows who are different ages but in the same batch to farrow in the next process in the other shed. As you can see, we've got a specially designed feed system which drops a volumed amount of feed into a trickle feed system which can effectively feed that amount over a space of 10 minutes we go for, then that way that ensures that this bigger sour over here doesn't guts her feed and then go and steal this little or smaller one over here. The bedding which we have in here is straw that we've grown on the farm as part of our sustainability side of things. Every eight weeks I'll come through in the tractor with a big bucket on the front, scrape it all up and go out there and spread it in the fields and it will break down as part of the fertiliser side of things in the broadacre farming sector of our business. <coughs> the sows will also eat some of this straw. It's good for a bit of fibre, but also something so they don't get bored. Then these sows, five days prior to them being due to farrow, will then move them out in their batches across into the next shed. We'll put them into their farrowing crate so they can safely deliver their piglets. Now we've arrived into the farrowing shed. This is one of the most important parts of the piggery production. It is where the sow farrows, gives birth to her piglets, as you can see. And so in this area, uh, that's where the piglet is most vulnerable. We want to make sure that when it's cold, that the pig is warm, and when it's hot, the, pig, the piglets and the sow are kept cool. So in this specially designed shed for this purpose, it's got air conditioning, which we can control on hot summer days, which we have. And then during the winter, we've got a gas heater, which keeps the room between 20 and 22 and a half degrees. The lucky piglets though, They've also got a heat mat, which when they're tired, they've had a full stomach, they'll sit down, have a rest on that, keep the body warm. With the sows, 
It's a specially designed amount which a volume of feed which we can then deliver to them automatically. And if they're feeling a little bit hungry, we can go through with each individual sow, see how much, how much feed she has actually eaten. If she's cleaned it all out and she still wants more, we'll give her more. The piglets, these ones in here currently, tomorrow is gonna to be weaning, so that's when we'll take them from her and put them down into the eco shelter where they're on the straw for another 12 weeks. They're looking really great condition at the moment. Quite the characters, really. See this little bugger here? Quite a nice body on him. Mum's been giving him a good feed. So we can't ask for any more than that. We want to make sure this piglet here and all the others are very well established so that they don't go backwards and they can just excel in their growth into the next stage. Well, there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed the walk around our farm, seeing the different processes we go about to produce these happy pigs. We want to be as sustainable as we possibly can, use any new innovative technology to be more efficient and productive in our piggery production. And the animal welfare is one of the most important things to us, because if the pigs are happy, we're happy. I've got plenty of other things I'm going to do, so I'll leave you with it.